Ah, Franklin, please escort Mrs. Barrington to her car. Uh, no, I, I can handle it myself. Thank you, John. I, I really need a moment or two for myself. Well, you know, I'm always here for you, my sweet. Adieu. Adieu. Joshua. Wait. Adieu. <laughs> Now what? I went to see Kevin. By the look in your face, he's disappointed me. He let Livy go. That must mean he's not taking his medication as prescribed. That must be it, because he wasn't acting well the way we anticipated. Well, he will do, because part of your job is to make sure he takes a daily dose. Do you understand? Absolutely. Anything else I can take care of for you? No. I'm savoring this moment. Now that I have control of the Barrington fortune, all of the pieces are falling deliciously into place. I only just wish that... What about Livy? You want me to find her and bring her in? No. Livy has taken Allison from me. It's only right that she should share some of this pain. What do you have in mind? Get word out to our people. I want them to find Caleb Moore. And then what? Kill him. On sight. How's it coming on your end? Well, the lyrics, press kits, everything. We need... Hang on, I'll be right back. Jack! Hey. Oh, I missed that. I wasn't sure you'd show up. I mean, when you heard about Allison. Yeah. Took a long ride on my motorcycle. Almost didn't come back. Well, I'm glad you did. Mm. Nice of you to join us, Mr. Ramsey. Joshua, move it, Reese. You and I made a deal. You're supposed to show up on time, not just disappear anytime you feel like it. I'm sorry, sir. Don't let it happen again. And don't take this warning too lightly, do you understand? Joshua, I've got to talk to you. Only if you get Caleb's head on a skewer. We looked everywhere. It's like he disappeared. How can he disappear, Frank? He's mortal. He can't disappear. Did you check Libby's apartment? Did you check Caleb's loft? And everywhere else I can think of. Oh, that's very strange. Everybody out there is looking for Caleb and Libby, and they cannot be found. Or Rafe. There's something going on. I don't know what it is, but I can feel it in my bones. We've got everybody on it, Joshua. If anybody sees the Slayer or Caleb or Livy, we'll hear about it. I want you back out there. But we've all... Don't argue with me. I want you out there. And I don't want you to come back until you find something. Do you understand? Joshua, I... I was feeling a bit lonely. You may go, Franklin. I'm so glad you're here, Amanda. You belong here, here with your family. <laughs> But, you know, losing my granddaughter, I I just feel a little bit lost. Uh, Push oh. off, lady. Watch where you're going, right? Pfft. You're all right, my dear. That girl is so rude. Come, join me over here. Come on, just come with me. Do you both good? Casey, I told you no already. Okay, look, Jamal, you're still hurting, so is Jack, all right? You guys both lost someone you really well, love. Casey, Jack needs a lot more help than I can give him right now. Okay, and plus, we already had it out about him working at this place. So you guys have a disagreement. Big deal. All right, you guys are way tighter than this. Casey. You need to talk Casey, to did you stop? Hey, what's going on? You too. Stuff to talk about. Peace. You can think what you want to think about me. But you know how much I cared about Allison. Right. That's why you're working for the boss vampire, huh? You think Allison would have gone for that? I'm not going to apologize for getting a gig at one of the hottest nightclubs in town. Jeff, you might think it's hot, but to me, standing here looking at you, I am this close to losing it all over again. <laughs> exactly who is that rash blonde bimbo? Oh, that's Reese. She's with the band to speak to her about her attitude. You know, musicians, I say. Anyway, Amanda, 
about Alice's memorial service. Oh, oh yes, yes. Everything has been arranged. I'm so grateful for your help. Well, I, it's helping me also because I really do miss her so much. Oh, I know that you do. Now come with me. I want to inform all the others about the arrangements. Ah, of course. Uh, Jamal, everyone. Well, Mrs. B, what are, you, what are you doing in here with this dude anyway? Mrs. B, are, are you okay? I'm doing the best I can under the circumstances, thanks to Mr. Temple. Uh-oh. I just want to invite all of you to my granddaughter's memorial service, thanks to Mr. Temple for arranging things. Wait, wait, wait. Joshua? But Allison would have never want him anywhere near her funeral. That's enough, Jamal. I know you have your own ideas, but Mr. Temple has been very kind to you and arranged everything. He's become like, like family to me. Well, maybe we should discuss what kind of family we're talking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, maybe we should. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Uh, not Come on. so fast, on. Joshua. Don't touch me, Angel. You know what? You make me sick, twisting Allison's grandmother's broken heart like that and turning her into one of you. Well, I'm sorry, but it doesn't happen to be one of your concerns. You really think you can get away with this, huh? Well, what are you going to do? Are you going to whip up another tornado? No, I got something even better. You know, there's a uh, this story, Sodom and Gomorrah. You ever hear of that? Great big pile of salt. You don't have that kind of power, young lady. Yeah, neither do you. You're taking over this town, but you seem to forget that I work for a group of people who don't give up that easy. So, uh, you better believe, Joshua, that I am going to be on you. I like could a... crush you. <laughs> I don't think so. You don't scare me. You and I both know that uh, you can't touch me. So you know what? Go ahead. Throw your little freak show memorial. I'm going to make whoa, whoa, sure that hey, nobody hey, goes hey, to hey, that. that? Hey, That's not a good idea, Case. Ricky, you know, I can take care of myself. Yeah, I know all about your rock and roll angel wings, all right? But that doesn't mean that you should go messing with Mr. Dawn of the Dead. I didn't know that you still cared what I did. And I didn't know that angels lied. Of course I care. You know I care. I'm lucky to have someone that Joshua's talents looking after me. Well, I bet you he's looking after your bank account, Miss Barrington, your whole estate. I trust Joshua with everything, including Allison's memorial. And I'm sure if my granddaughter were here, she would say the same thing and feel the same way. <sighs> Allison would never forgive us if it went down like this. No, don't even worry about it. Okay, Allison, she's gonna get the memorial she would have wanted. Count me in. What? Get your boss all riled up. You're gonna go against Joshua? That's what it looks like, doesn't it? You know, I've got, I, I gotta get going, Ricky, but uh, thanks again for trying to watch my back. You know I'm never gonna stop caring about you. I know, I... But what? Come on, Casey, say it. I just thought that... I'm sick of this dump. Did anyone see where Jack and Jamal went? Uh, not a clue, Reese, but you know what? You, you gave me a great idea. We should go track him down. What, Casey? Oh, come on, man. What are we waiting for? You, you want to come with us? <laughs> no, I, uh, I got some stuff I need to take care of here. Okay. Joshua? Unlucky in love, Ricky. I want to talk about it. Why don't you just stay out of my personal life, huh? You know, you strike me as being a very ambitious young man. That's one of the things that I really like about you. Yeah, well, I still got some big dreams for this band, if we could just focus. Well, you see, I really would like to focus and take this band to the heights where you see it. But I've got this angel who keeps looking over my shoulder. So what does that have to do with me? You're a smart kid. How would you make an angel feel? Think about it. It sounds like you're asking me to, uh, No. To... All I said was, think about it. You want me to sleep with Casey. So that she'll get yanked back upstairs. I have mucho confidence in you, Ricardo. Wow. Ricky will take care of Casey. Frank will take care of Caleb. So. I have two less weights hanging around my neck. You looking for me? 